A few months ago, we were out touring trailers and we came across a Lance 1985, I think it was, and we loved it. So when we're out today and we saw this Lance here, we thought we better tour this thing. This is their smaller one. It's a, what is, what is it, Kara? It's a 1575. 1575. One thing with the Lances, you see a lot of things that you don't see on other trailers that similar or comparable trailers just don't have. I personally think that the Lance is a little bit better made than some of the other trailers. So comment below, let me know what you think on that. If you have personal experience with it and let's, let's get to the tour. Just starting right out in the front. First thing, nice electric jack. These are so oh, nice rather than the old manual style. Most of us always were like, oh, I don't need a, 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 an electric jack. I Manual jack's not a problem. And then you have one and you're like, okay. That, we always thought, oh, we don't need auto level on our trailer. And then Kara's dad gives one with auto level. And we're like, holy crap, we wish we had auto level. So I, I really like that it has the electric jack here. Another thing that Lance does is they don't just have your propane tank sitting out here, you know, to the elements, just kind of an ugly eyesore. They put it in this nice container. It would look so much worse going down the road looking like this, rather than just having this nice little piece of plastic over it. I know it's not that big of a deal, and it's just an extra cost that whoever buys it's gonna have to do, but I, I just think it looks better. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I've been wrong once or twice before in my life too, so I just think it goes to show that little bit of extra that Lance is putting into things. Now the part that everybody should care about when they're buying any trailer, the weights. So this one has a gross vehicle weight rating of 4,600. It's kind of a heavy trailer. We were just touring the all electric Palomino, the EV3, very similar size, 1,500-ish or more pounds less. This thing is way heavier. And I don't know if it's just build quality or construction or materials or whatever, but that's significant on basically the same size trailer. Kind of interesting. Right here, let's see what this is. If it'll open, there we go. It's where you put your poop tube, I think. Looks like it to me. Looks like a nice little place to store your sewage hose. So coming around, we have our leveling jacks back here. Sorry, the storage bay's locked and we don't have the key, but storage bay. <laughs> uh, got your windows here coming around. You have your outdoor shower, your uh, shore power right here, and your city water and your water tank. Nice little slide out, of course, with Schwintech slides because the size of you know, this size of slide out will always have a Schwintech on it. Even has a little bit of a storage compartment right here. With any trailer, you're always trying to maximize storage. And with a small trailer, maximizing storage is huge and i love to see it when manufacturers are trying to do that for us so right here it's perfect to put in your chairs and all those sort of things now with it being on a slide out you might not want to put you know the heaviest stuff here maybe leave your barbells at home but it's going to hold a lot of stuff in here which is always something we all need i do like that it's magnetic but i wish the door was a little bit thicker just, I, I like it when they have a thicker door on them. So before you say I didn't give any negatives on this thing, wish I had a thicker door. Coming around the backside, kind of an interesting rear bumper setup. I like it, it looks really cool, but I almost wish it had the traditional square where you could put your sewer tube. It, I would rather that than the other compartment for the sewer tube, but whatever. Uh, you just have these nice uh, kind of, it almost looks like rock slider bars, but they're not. And then right back here in the middle of this bumper, so you have to kind of reach in all funny, is your tank flush. Just another example of why this Lance stands out to us. Even their wheel well, nice color matched, molded in plastic, pretty dang sturdy. It's not going to be flapping all over as you go down the road. Uh, coming down to the tires. Just one of those things that stands out uh, when we're looking at all these trailers is which tires they put on. Lance puts on a Goodyear tire. They're at least a name brand tire and you don't see that always on this size of a trailer, which it's nice to see. And this is a 225 75R15 um, and the weight, 
max load is 1285. And these are a load range E Goodyear. So a, a good enough tire for this size of a trailer. Then up above me, Lance does these really cool awnings that instead of having the big arms coming down the sides here, this just has the scissor arms that come out, which makes it look really nice, but also keeps the sides of the trailer looking really clean. I don't know how they'll hold up in a windstorm or if they're any better or worse or whatever. It's just cool to see somebody doing something different. Most RVs have went to the solid step. Lance is still doing this. It reminds me of the old steps my grandma had on her camper, the, the accordion style, but they're nice and light. They're adjustable. They even have this little flap um, with a little bit of Velcro on it. So I, I think that's to help keep some mud and water and that sort of stuff off it as you go down the road. And you have this little pin to make sure that you get them secured, which is always nice. Another cool thing that Lance is doing on this that a lot of smaller trailers this size don't do, little quick change propane right here, right with your front stabilizer. Kind of nice to have when you're running your barbecue grill or whatever else. Well, let's head on in and see what's going on in there. Uh, right away, the non-traditional handle that we're used to. Really nice grab handle right there. Just shut that door again, Karen. Let them hear how much better that thing shuts than most. I'm just gonna lightly push this shut. Most doors that we are handling, you really have to give them a shove to get the door fully sealed and shut. Let's start off right here in the front of this unit. You've got your bed right here. Uh, this one actually does not fold, so there is not a couch underneath this one. But you do have those big storage bins that we were not able to open. So that's what's under there. You know, there are pros and cons by having just the bed or the jackknife couch. Uh, but we typically prefer just to have the bed down. You don't have to shift for night, shift for morning. And bottom line, it's going to be a better mattress for you because it's not folding and unfolding every time. Let's take a better look at these windows here. Right away, you see four handles. These windows are on kind of a strut system here. I'll show you on this side. A strut system here so you can open it. I don't want to hit the door right there. Um, and then you tighten it wherever you want the window to sit. Now you may notice that there's not a screen on this window, but let me get these all shut and I will show you the screen system. So you do still have protection from all the bugs getting in. Also on this, you have your blackout shades as well. So really slick, easy system, dark, semi-dark and full light. This is all flowing very easy, very smooth. I, I am really liking this blind setup. Wanted to show you, you've got your sound bar, speakers, uh, your go power, that's your solar. You've got USB, you've got slide in and out, your AC, everything right there, tucked away. Um, and out of the line of sight as well. Just want to show this little storage closet. It does have a bar for hanging as well as a couple little cubbies here. Um, I am seeing hardware, but no door. We did double check with the same model right next door. Uh, they're all the same. <laughs> no doors, but hardware. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Right next to our storage is our fridge freezer combination. Nice size fridge, you know, great for a weekend trip. This is also a gas electric version. I'm gonna go down below here access to your furnace, all your water lines. Goodness, a lot of really good access right there as well. While I was on the floor, I found the storage bins that we couldn't get open. Basically, it is the full size of this queen size mattress. Wide open storage, which you can access from three points. Let's take a look at our kitchen here. I'm going to start off with the overhead storage. 
I don't know if you can pick it up, but it does a nice curve, nice little arch to it. Really good storage up here as well. Your microwave's tucked away, it's not an eyesore. Really nice self close on those as well. A little bit of storage down below our sink right here. Your non traditional square or rectangle. It's a nice round shape. Still get bowls and things in there to get washed up. Really nice countertop as well. It's got a little bit of a glass or marble fleck to it. Range top here. Three burner with also an oven below. Take a look at the storage down below. This is your drawer space right here. Nice sliding drawers there. And a little more underneath the sink. It would be nice to have something a little better than a plastic bin sliding in and out. Um, I personally like my drawers. Something I'm seeing as a theme with the Lance RVs uh, is these raised dinettes. And it's because of all the storage. So storage underneath them, may it be tanks or just the storage bin we saw outside, but they are raising these up quite a bit. And speaking of storage, there's this great big wide open space giving you lots of extra storage on both sides of the table. Just wanted to point out that little bit of extra storage they're always throwing up in there. It does have a little bit of access to some pipes there. Like we say, a trailer this size, storage is key. Dite net in here is a U-shaped configuration. So if you've got lots of bodies you need to get around the table, you've got oodles of space in here. Fabric in here is really nice. Jess, come take a look. Not only does it have the quilted diamond pattern, the two-tone, and it just feels really nice. I will point out it is quite low in the head. So if you have an extra tall, long torso person, you might have to, you know, put a little caution tape across the chop there. <laughs> With this trailer, you do have to give up a little bit of space, and I think they chose to give it up in the bathroom. Let me show you why. <laughs> this bathroom is just a shower and toilet. Plastic toilet at that. It does have one of those, kind of those medicine mirrors, so you can open it, put a few things behind it. Um, let me see if I can give you a shower test. It is fairly tall, though. Uh, we're trying to attempt the shower test okay. here. <laughs> so I, I'm 5'10", and I have a bunch of room above me, just to give you an idea. So even the bar here, I'm not hitting, okay? So fairly good. Now elbow room wise, yeah, it could be better. And this does come out to give you a little bit more room in here. Uh, so that way you aren't getting water all over, but for such a small trailer and for such a small bathroom, the shower is really not bad. Now, the throne, not a lot of leg room. I was literally, literally stepping out the door and I noticed this extra track right here. I look up, I see a cable system above head. <laughs> we thought there was no screen. Always finding something new every time with the Lance series. We'd like to thank Paris RV for yet again letting us come tour this awesome Lance trailer. I, I know it sounds like we are just super fanboys of the Lance, but when you tour as many trailers as we do and you look at these, they do have a lot of things that are superior to many other trailers that we look at. So if you're interested in this size of a unit, check out the Lance. This one yet again is the 1575 and it is a Four Seasons. As always, uh, like, subscribe, all those sort of things. Comment below what you think of it. 
Um, if you have experience with the Lance and you're seeing something that we're not, comment below, let us know. We're always interested to hear about people's personal experiences with these trailers. Because sometimes you walk through and you don't see things that after somebody's owned it for a while, they may have seen. So uh, let us know down below. As always, thanks for watching and enjoy your weekend.